The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here for InfoWars.com. In the month of July, we have got giant specials on everything at MadeIn1776.com. The already discounted Made in 1776 t-shirts are only 1776. We have the new belt buckles that in only two weeks of sale are very close to selling out. There's only 500 of each. We're talking about Made in America belt buckles and nickeled brass. This is more than a summer blowout special. This is a new declaration of independence. But to expand the info war, we're offering the equivalent of more than five months free right now when you get a membership at prisonplanet.tv. For a limited time, only $39.95 a year. That's more than five months free off the regular price. Not just this July 4th weekend, but the entire month of July at MadeIn1776.com. Molon Labe, you can take my gun from my cold, dead hands. through the lies and disinformation it's alex jones on the gcn radio network in south texas our reporter our reporters are at the far international bridge and they had to get out of there because of quote a dangerous situation so they're going to be uh, connecting with us soon. I didn't intend to come in with Danger Zone when the reporters just had to disconnect and get out of there. So I don't know what's happening right now down there on the border. But the trains of death are arriving daily all the way from Central America. They're given passage. As long as they do not jump off the train, they're not taken to forced labor camps in Mexico. Mexico has always had the most draconian uh, immigration laws in this hemisphere. Even the New York Times admits that. The shame of Mexico's immigration law, I think, was the headline last year. Uh, but now they've made a deal that unlimited from Guatemala all the way down to El Salvador. Uh, the Gazette.com, uh, Colorado Gazette reports with the charities, the Catholic Church and others that are uh, loading up the people. Uh, and bringing them up into the United States where the Border Patrol militarily salutes, puts them on buses to bring them in deeper, gives them vouchers to be sent to whoever they want to go to. I mean, just open borders with the government conduiting 
the Central and South American people, uh, the destitute with their children, I mean, just pouring in. This is an unbelievable criminal operation. And they're going to get away with it. And they're going to get away with uh, funding al-Qaeda to take over Iraq and Syria, calling them ISIS, and they're going to get away with anything, I guess, if we let them. And here's the issue about crime. Once a government get, uh, gets to this level with tyranny, the sky's the limit. And we've now reached it. You think this is crazy? They'll probably start arresting people like me and just shooting patriots in the street or something. And then a civil war will start. I mean, I mean, there's Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs has no criminal record. I'm going to get him on the air about this. Maybe tomorrow. I just got swamped with the news. And he sold the three or four guns he had. He's been in the Army gone for years before he moved down here to raise some cash. He got down here, and he wants to get a rifle and you know stuff to go shooting with us. And he goes in time after time. They go, oh, sorry, uh, you've been denied. We'll call you back. And they never do. Well, it's supposed to then trigger that they're supposed to give you the gun. There's no record. They won't do it. He, honorable discharge, he's got the plaque on his office, purple heart plaques, the whole nine yards, Esquire magazine articles about him jumping off armored vehicles and stabbing Al-Qaeda in the neck and all the rest of it. I mean, he's a well-known soldier. And he cannot get a gun. And most vets I know... Korea War vets, Vietnam vets. I know guys that are grandpas. One guy's a famous NFL football player. and was a UT football player, and I talked to him at a party, a birthday party years ago. It's been going on for a while, about five years ago. And uh, he cannot get a rifle for his grandson, and he can't buy guns. He, I mean, he's got dozens of guns. It has no criminal record. They just, no one will sell him a gun. And that's because there's this lawlessness. I mean, the, the illegals are legal. There's no law. They just do it. It's violating the law. There's no uh, law. They can't give him a gun. But they won't sell him one because it's all digital under FBI control and the NICS system. And you've seen Bill Clinton when he left office. They denied 87,000 troops being able to have guns. They just put them on a list if they'd ever even been interviewed for PTSD. Well, you're not uh, not allowed to own guns if you have PTSD. Half the time the diagnosis is wrong. But the issue here is this is the undemocratic extrajudicial purge where the bureaucracy does whatever it wants and selectively enforces laws or doesn't even follow the law. And that's what this whole digital system's about. That's why they want to ban private sales. That's why they want to ban you selling your neighbor a gun or giving your son a gun or giving grandpa a gun or vice versa. I've given my dad probably four guns over the years. He's probably given me 10 guns. And I've got them all. And they've all gone up in value. And the reason you get more guns is they're cool. You want to have more. You shoot them. You talk to them. It's a, it's a culture. And... Extrajudicially, folks, if they can get the veterans, they're going to get us all. A lot of people go, I don't care. I'm not a veteran. I don't care if they take their guns. I, I, I love this self-centered way people think. As if, oh, it's not happening to me today. Like, I don't care. I don't own a coal power plant. Why do I care if they shut it off? Because half your energy comes from it, dummy. People are, they, they think their ignorance and their arrogance is a shield. It's not, it's an enslavement. Okay, they just reconnected from the Far Bridge. That's the name of the bridge. They'll tell you the town they're near. This is where Breitbart was uh, Sunday where the Border Patrol told them they couldn't be there, quote, for their safety. They're at the uh, International Bridge uh, right down on the edge of the border and the uh, Rio Grande on the United States side. Uh, right there by Military Highway 281, and uh, they are reporting um, from that area. I want them to tell us why they just had to pull out a moment ago to a quote, safer place, what run-ins they've had with the Border Patrol. He's trying to keep the press out of the area because uh, they don't want people getting video of this train of death coming in and other things that happened since I talked to him on the Sunday show last night. Kit Daniels and Rob Jacobson reporting from the border. Kit, what can you tell us? Well, we just uh, drove from Brownsville, Texas, about 60 miles parallel to the Mexican border to reach here for our international bridge. And this entire time, we've seen only one Border Patrol vehicle this entire trip. Yet, we've seen maybe four or five state troopers on the way up here. And we uh, last night, we randomly took a side road near the border near Brownsville. And we encountered a wide open border gate, completely wide open, unguarded. And I wanted to come here to emphasize the fact that here, an international bridge, which is very well known, is 
it looks like an actual what you would expect on the border. But going back to the south where we came from on this to reach here, we've only we've seen several holes in the border fence and it's just unbelievable. And only one border aid patrol agent. Well, you know, I told you this basically was the headline yesterday. National Review went with it today. Uh, what an open border looks like in the Rio Grande Valley. Illegal border crossers are surrendering voluntarily. That is the uh, headline today, Kit. That's what's happening. The Border Patrol is now a delivery agent, a taxi service to get them to Greyhound buses and pay for the ticket. Um, and so what we want to do here is go with that and then go with the headline in the video, Border Patrol leaves border gates open. Border Patrol stands down, subheadline, border effectively erased, and then just write about how they're a taxi service, showing the Jakari Jackson video of them admitting they pay to now get them into the interior, and we have total treason documented. Then cherry on top in the article you're going to write tonight, and again, you've done a fabulous job, is why are there checkpoints on the highways? Why is there army at the kite festival in Austin searching people? Why uh, is the TSA groping us? This is total sickening treason. This is unbelievable. Kit, please continue reporting. And I read Kurt Nemo's article this morning about uh, Senator Feinstein saying, hey, we, the next another 9-11 is going to happen. Uh, the terrorists are just going to we got to have intelligence, abuse of force amendment to save us from terrorists. But what I've seen the past few days is wide open borders where illegal aliens can just roam across the border with impunity. And when they do encounter border patrol agents, a few that actually do, they are treated better than what we're treated when we are in line at the airport, the TSA. So it's just, it shows you to look into the, the border collapse that's now occurring is key to understanding the how government spins reality. So they will take a, uh, it's just, it goes back to Deal Clinton, the Roman Emperor Deal Clinton's problem, reaction, solution. They're going to take a crisis or a government created crisis and spin it to their agenda to take away our rights, but at the same time expand government powers. That's what we're seeing right now. This, it's, it's key to understand that the government is using this to for not only their own agenda, but they're also spinning the war on terrorism to fit their own agenda as well. Well, Kent, you've done a great job. We're going to come back to you in a few minutes. That that lob's a little windy there in the high wind. Let's, we're going to try to go to handheld here. So I'm going to go back to you in just, just a moment there. Uh, our reporters uh, down on the South Texas border uh, with Mexico uh, confirming just all sorts of uh, critical data. Again, we broke last week, and Drudge Report carried it. Uh, uh, DrudgeReport.com carried the InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com articles confirming that the Border Patrol buses them in from the border and then pays to put them on Greyhound to ship them anywhere they want to go. That's confirmed on video. The border is wide open, uh, but if I want to go to a UT football game, they now have TSA-style checkpoints. They will. A man will grab my genitals. So I'm not going, even though I don't want to see the game anyways. I'm not going. Uh, you know, when families in town I might want to go, I still occasionally every few years will go to a UT football game just to see the spectacle of the simulated warfare and, and people being turned into animals. Uh, but expanding on all of that, uh, it is just absolutely incredible that we have gotten to this point uh, as a society that the government can openly fund Al-Qaeda and we cover it for three years plus the proxy war in Syria. Then they change the name from Al-Qaeda to ISIS and have them invade Iraq. And Obama goes, I don't think I'll help the president. I don't think I'll help the prime minister. We're just going to, you know, let them take over because they run them. I mean, I, I mean, I'm getting to the point now with cops or anybody running around all paranoid like there's terrorists everywhere. It's an excuse to take over. And to be down there and see border gates just open and to have the Border Patrol come up to our guys, I want to have them go back down to the border checkpoint that's only about 100 yards away because guaranteed they'll run up and say, get out of here, get out of here. Then we can say, hey, we're here to report that you guys are busting them into the country and giving them vouchers. We need that interaction with them showing that they're being told this. That is absolutely essential. But there's the headline. City official admits Border Patrol fronting cash to bus illegals. 
Border Patrol purchasing bus tickets, vouchers for illegal immigrants while saddling uh, border towns with housing burden. I mean, it, it literally.